so in this video we'll see uh, how to install the software code blocks of course when you want to execute a programs in C language or C++ I think the best compiler which we can get the open source is code blocks now we'll see how you can install in your desktop especially in Windows how to install it we'll see in this video so first go for any web browser so I'm taking Firefox web, web browser or you can go for Chrome or Edge whatever so just type here in the Google simply about code blocks of course you can find here code blocks of course you can open it code blocks directly but you can directly go to this binary releases so that you can directly get the link of the software if you go to the code blocks then you can come to the downloads again in the downloads again you need to go for binary releases like this for example if I go for downloads you can see here so here in the down part you can see here binary releases like this also you can consider or you can directly take it from here yes go for binary releases directly so here uh, of course I'm talking about Windows how to install here so here you can see one two three four okay just go for fourth one directly because I found like all the settings are readily available here uh, you don't get any problem when you install this part so just I'm highlighting here you can see select the fourth part and select this one which I've installed and uh, I'm ready to install right uh, I'm ready to download right now which I selected and which I found like this is the best to make it uh, getting any errors like all the default settings are coming here so that you don't worry about the settings directly install and you can write the programs and execute so now I'm downloading this one you can observe just click on it uh, then it will be done automatically most of the times so here it is asking where to install but in of course I kept this settings like whenever I download something it has to ask me where to where to download but in some other uh, in in your systems it might be like uh, if it is automatically it will automatically download okay anyway you can give this one if not automatically it will download and it will show here in the right side or somewhere if you take edge it will get downloaded it's a open source software I think it will be done according to the computer I mean internet speed uh, like it's almost 145 MB it is downloaded uh, once it is downloaded just click on it if it is downloaded just wait for it and yes it is completed I'm just opening this file yeah now you can see here uh, it is asking uh, some do you want to install yes just click on yes yes I'm minimizing or closing whatever so it will start uh, which is very simple how you can make it so click on next and then of course uh, agree the terms and conditions simply click on I agree then don't change anything I suggest uh, simply click on next here uh, it will get installed here so click on next where you want to install better it will get anywhere in C in C drive uh, so simply make it like install here so it will it will take time of course according to the speed of the system uh, it will complete so we are just waiting for it to complete yeah it's almost done now so it is asking do you want to run the code blocks now yes hit on yes now here also immediately hit on next anyway now you can see it you can click on finish then it's almost done now the code blocks will open here now we'll try to make it a small C program will try to execute and anyway in the last uh, it will ask for four radio buttons where it is asking uh, you can always change the associations in the do you want to set it as a default so I suggest go for the fourth option which is yes associate code blocks with every supported type right so that is the best you can select and hit on ok now this is a uh, environment that you can get it anyway uh, here you click on don't annoy me again it's not so required you can have um, now so first go for here uh, how to write a basic C program first I want to write a C program just hit on file uh, just go for new then empty file take an empty file here 
just yeah here before writing we have to save it as a c file right so with extension so go to save file as uh, select where you want to save so i want to give some something like uh, sample okay uh, sample i'll give it and you can select c slash c plus plus many extensions are there just select c slash c plus plus and save simply save i suggest uh, when you take this uh, please go through uh, actually this folder where i'm saving you can see which is actually not in c drive okay so it's better when any any c drive crashes any system files crashes or operating system crashes no your entire programs will get deleted right so in order to avoid that i suggest you to save in some other drive if you have c drive d drive e drive other than c you select it so i am going here okay other than c drive i am going here uh, for a e drive so where i i'll create some very some folder let us suppose uh, the folder name is uh, something like programs okay so in that i just want to save this program just click on it yes i'll try to go for a basic c program where i'll try to write hash include and one more thing you can see you cannot get the text like this by default anyway i'll try to type it first hash include stdio.h then i'll try to write void main we'll check it out whether it is working perfectly or not of course you can see in all most of my videos i use this code blocks only to write the programs print of anyway the first program we'll write it as hello world let us see if i want to execute you can see this is a button you can see shortcut here build and run build means compile run means execute so you can click on it or you can go for this build you can find here which is the shortcut is f9 so that's what you can make it and here you can click on it here i'm executing you can see so here it is printing hello world right so anyway you can increase the font size of output here itself so here i'll click on it and the properties you can see so here just i want to make it as a 20 you can see and also it's a black background and white text if you want to make it reverse yes you can make it okay here you can select the screen text okay text can be black i want to fill it up and uh, uh, screen background should be uh, white almost white here i'm selecting let us see how it will look like you can see now and still the font size not got adjusted let us see yes like this we got the font size so you can increase there itself anyway how much you want you can make it and not only that this font also if you want to change it just go for settings then editor if you click on it if you click on it and just choose here you can make it choose and uh, here you can see uh, you select the font of course i this ubuntu may not you may not find ubuntu in all the systems so i actually this font i install separately if you want any other font yes you can select from here and if you want any other yes you can make it and yes what is the font size that you want to give and what is the font style yes you can make it here and just click on ok and then here also click on ok yeah, still still if you are getting any sort of the problem when you click on run or if you if you are not able to execute then what you have to do is just click on settings go to the compiler go to the compiler then here you will find tool chain executables click on tool chain executables just click on auto detect click on auto detect and it will ask for the confirmation yes click on ok and check it out and this is the one more thing you have to know when it is you are not able to get the output window and one more thing uh, the thing which you need to remember when you click on uh, execution this window will open right 
now this in window must be closed when you want to make it again for example if i minimize it if i minimize it yes you can see now if i want to write something you can see this execution button is disabled you can see so sometimes we feel like what happened here so what that means you have to check it out is that your output window is open or not simply close it yes you can find it here and also you can disable whatever you don't want it of course if in initially if you install it it will look like this i'll try to make it everything so all these things will come into that in the section in the top section so like this it will be now whichever you don't want yes make it disable thread search this one i don't want this one i don't want so only if i want to execute uh, where it can compile where it can execute that buttons are much for me so remaining things i'm just here you can make it disable and of course uh, that's it i think this is better you can have so like this you can install and you can run a program and if you want a, another program yes you can take new or else here itself you can make it as uh, save file as and give another name let us suppose i'll give uh, sample 2 yes yes make it it's a sample 2 program 2 anyway sample 1 will be there in the back end uh, with the same right so this is about how basically you can install code blocks in windows environment Thank you.